Welcome to Clayton Valley Presbyterian Church. I'm Kathleen, and I want to welcome you to Godly Play. Here at the Story Circle, we come from the sanctuary, and we're greeted at the door as we arrive, one by one, called by name, to the circle. No matter who's teaching on any Sunday, we always start here at the circle in the same way. The Lord be with you. We like to choose someone from the story circle when we're meeting together to go over to our calendar of the church year, the, the circle that tells us where we are, not like the other calendars that we have in our offices and homes. We're in the season of Christmas tide. In the church, white is the color of joy and of mystery. And certainly Christmas is full of both. As we come back to the circle, we make ourselves ready. Even if we've heard a story before, the last time we heard it, we were different than we are today. So there might be something in the story today that's especially important for you. And I invite you to listen for it. Every basket, every box, every tray in here is a story. The parables, the sacred stories from the Hebrew and the Greek scriptures, and the stories behind me from our liturgy about the way we worship and celebrate together. Watch where I go to get the story. When you're here in this room, during work time, you can take any story off the shelf that you've heard. So you want to know where to find it. That color white is a giveaway, isn't it, in this season of Christmas tide? Right here, this tray. It's got handles, which is, helps us bring it to the circle without dropping it. Let's get ready to hear what's in the story just for you today. White for joy and for mystery. Yes. Today, is the day that we celebrate Epiphany. Epiphany is the time when we celebrate how God was shown or revealed to us through this baby born in a stable. That's full of mystery, isn't it? Let's light the candle that reminds us of the ones who came and showed us, showed the world who this baby really was and would be. They were the Magi. Some people call them the Three Kings, but they were wise men, more really like scientists. One of the things that they knew lots about were the stars and the planets. They studied them. And so they knew where all the stars should be at any time of the year, which help people know when to plant or when to take a, a trip. Um, and they knew stories about stars and the planets. So when they saw a wild star that was moving in a way that a star wasn't meant to move, 
and in a place where they didn't think it belonged. They remembered the stories and they decided, the three wise men, the magi, to follow that star because they believed something amazing and wonderful would be where that star led them. And of course, it led them right to the Holy Family, to Mother Mary, to the Father Joseph in that stable where the animals were kept and where they found a baby lying in a manger, a feeding trough. The wise men had listened carefully to the story about this wild star, and they brought with them gifts. Now, these are not the kinds of gifts that I think that you or I might bring to a new baby. They brought gold. Gold for a king, even though the Magi knew that this child would not be the kind of king that people thought he would be. And so they also brought something else. They brought frankincense. You remember the stories of the tent for God in the temple. And you remember that the priests had a lampstand where they and an incense burner where they would burn the incense to make sweet smelling smoke. They would walk through that smoke as they went to worship, almost as if the smoke were lifting their prayers to heaven. I brought frankincense to the baby Jesus. They also brought another gift, myrrh. If you were here, you would be able to smell this. It doesn't smell very good, this myrrh. Myrrh was used in that day when it was melted to cover the skins of dead people as they were placed in tombs to preserve them from harm. They brought the baby who was born in a stable, the coating that's put on a dead body. Magi knew that this child would grow to change everything and he would not live to old age. Joseph and Mary, they were probably puzzled by these gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Mary never forgot. The wise men kept their secret about where they had found the Christ child, and they went back with the knowledge that they had seen a gift from God. So we remember them on this Epiphany Sunday, the first people from another country to see Jesus, who is then known to all of us all over the whole world. May God show himself to you. And may the Lord bless you and keep you.